Hi, this is Becca from Becca Harkins Art. Welcome to my art channel. Today I'm going to be working on a 12 inch by 12 inch gallery depth canvas and yes, I have it on a spinner. All of the colors that I've mixed up for today's painting are custom colors. The dark red on the left, I started with a semi-transparent red color and I added just a little bit of black to make it a little bit darker. And then I took a small blob of that color, put it in the cup next to it and added a lot of primary yellow and that mixed up that orange color. And then I took a small dab of the orange color, put it in an empty cup and mixed even more primary yellow and that made the yellow color. I like using this stair step approach to make custom colors because when there's a part of the color in every color, I feel like it just makes them more harmonious and makes them go together more seamlessly. The base color I'm using for this painting is primarily black, but I wanted it to be a little bit more of like a slate gray black. So I added about 25% of Naples yellow to this color. And then the color that I'm going to be using to create the dimension and the cells is titanium white. The other day we got about six and a half inches of snow here in southeast Pennsylvania where I live and for us that's a pretty significant snowfall. So the kids had a snow day and it was very exciting. After the snow stopped I took the kids out to this really great big hill that we have nearby that I call the hill of destiny because it is so fast and so scary but so much fun. I've got a little bit of a back issue going on this year, so I decided to sit out the sledding and just let the kids have the fun. While I was sitting in the car waiting for them to hopefully not break any limbs while they were sledding, <laughs> I decided it would be a great time to record the audio for this YouTube video. Well, the car creates beautiful acoustics for recording video and everything was going swimmingly until my kids got back to the car and they were like, okay, we're done. I hopped out of the car to help them put their sleds into the trunk and I dropped my mic into a puddle. <laughs> well, the mic did not enjoy its swim in the icy cold waters too much and it decided it didn't want to work anymore. So that is why the audio quality for this video is not as great as it was in the beginning. But I do have a new mic on the way and it should be here soon, so hopefully moving forward the audio quality will be better. I'm going to get out any last minute air bubbles that I have left in the base paint before I go ahead and put on my flower tool and get to pouring. I decided to go with three layers of petals for this flower and I'm starting with the exact same color that I'm using for the base coat which is that slate black color and then I'm going to be working with my cell color which is titanium white that is going to go on the outside of each of the layers of petals to create the depth in the cell layer that pulls away from the darkest color which is going to be on the inside of that petal and then i'm going to be working in a gradient i've got yellow and then followed by yellow i'm going to pour the orange followed by that is going to be that cranberry color and i thought a lot about the direction that i wanted to layer these colors in and i really wanted to go from light lightest on the outside of each of the petals to darkest on the inside of the petal of each of those colors because i think that it will help to create that 3d effect more than if i did the reverse order so that's what i'm going with here and here is that darker cranberry color that's going to be sitting in the middle After I pour the three layers of petals, I'm gonna go ahead and take that paper napkin and do my dip, and then I am going to spin it at the end to see if I can get larger petals and to get the flower to reach the edges of the canvas. I'm going for a really up close look at this flower, almost as if you were looking right into the middle of it you're up close and personal with it, like a macro photography type of situation. And the 
outer petals of the flower just kind of go off the edge of the canvas to create this all-consuming and all-encompassing look of the flower. <laughs> I don't know if that makes sense, but you'll see. flower dips are so incredibly satisfying. I have decided to go ahead and put together a playlist for you, including all of the different colors and arrangements of my flower dip paintings. And I will drop that link right up here for you if you're interested in watching that. I'm going to stop talking now, turn on some nice music, let you enjoy the creating process, and then we'll come back at the end to show you the results. sped this section up so that you can see the cells grow and develop in right before your eyes 
and I just think it's so satisfying. So I wanted to give you a little bit of eye candy for today. <laughs> so enjoy it. Next, I am taking my torch and just hitting the edge of the uh, of some of the petals for some extra cell creation. I feel like in this kind of technique, the more cells, the better. And I'm also hitting it there in the center to get some texture and cell creation out of those swirling center petals. And then finally, I'm going to fill in the edges with my dark black gray slate color because I am prepared to spin this flower and I want to make sure that there is enough paint on the edges that it is going to pull the paints in the center out and over the edges. And yep, there it goes. It's working. Just giving it one more pass over with the blowtorch to make sure that I got any bubbles that might be remaining and also creating a few more cells in key areas. I have to say I am beyond satisfied with this painting. There is so much depth and so much interest. The cells held together beautifully. Just look at that. Oh my goodness. I love it. I am so glad you joined me for today's video. Thank you so much for joining me. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, all the things. If you haven't seen it yet, you have got to check out the video I have coming up next. It is another flower dip in beautiful icy blues and turquoises. It's the kind of flower that I imagine Elsa would have growing in her ice castle. <laughs> so check it out. Let me know what you think. Grace and peace to you, my friends, and I will see you for the next one.